Hi guys and welcome to another crochet tutorial. I'm Today I'm showing you how to work up the stitch for the simple crochet cable blanket on the Yarn Hook Needles blog. I'm making just a swatch for you today so you can understand how the stitch count goes and then also how to actually create the stitches. So I've already done the beginning work. I've already done my base chain, um, which is just a multiple of 12 plus three. And then I went ahead and did row one, which is just double crochets all the way across. And so now we are at the point where we've turned and we have chained two. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to work a double crochet into the next five stitches. Keep in mind that your chain twos at the beginning of each row count as your first double crochet. So we're going to do five double crochet for a total of six. So this is three, four, five, and six. And here is where we're going to start prepping our stitches for creating those cables. So after we do those six double crochet, what we're going to do now is we're going to do six front post double crochet. And if you're not familiar with what that is, I'll do the first couple slowly so you can kind of get a feel and an eye for exactly how to do that. And then we'll speed it up as we move across. So what we'll do first is we're gonna yarn over. You see this post right here. We're going to insert our hook behind that post, yarn over, draw up a loop. We'll have three on our hook. And then we're just gonna work that double crochet as normal. So again, we're not going into this top stitch, we're gonna go behind the post. We're working a front post double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over, insert behind that post, yarn over, draw up a loop, and then just continue working like we normally would a double crochet. And you wanna do that for the next six posts. So this is three, four, five and six and then you will end every row with a double crochet in the top chain of your previous rows chain two and then we're going to turn and we chain two more now, as you can see, you may think that looks weird, but you're repeating this pattern right here. You're repeating this kind of six double crochet and then the six for the cable. And you'll repeat that same thing all the way across your blanket for as long as you want your blanket to be. And for this specific pattern that I wrote on the blog, it's actually a chain of 99. So you're gonna have several sections of these going across the entire blanket, but for the purpose of this tutorial to make it easy and quick, um, I just simply did uh, a total of um, a multiple of 12 plus three, just a basic one, so just one cable and then, sorry, the basic part. Okay, so now we've got this. Um, this is our first double crochet and we're going to create a back post double crochet. So the front post is if you're working in the front, so you're working behind and you're popping that post out. And now what we're going to do is because this is the wrong side of the work and we want the cable to pop on the right side, we're going to work behind. So we're going to yarn over and go behind like this. Okay. Do you see? Draw up that loop and then just continue with that double crochet. Again, it's a yarn over, work behind the post like that, draw up that loop, yarn over, and you do that for a total of six back post double crochets, just like so. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. And six like that. And now we will continue in the last six six not six six stitches with just our regular double crochets. And then 
put that last double crochet in the top of that chain two space like that and there you go and we turn and we can see those stitches nice and kind of popped out if you look at the work like this you can see how those stitches are popping out okay so this is chain two again we're just going to do our double crochets across remember that that chain two counts as your first double crochet so it'll be a total of six that we're going to work across the work four five and six and this is where um you might feel like it gets a little bit difficult so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a front post triple crochet now a triple crochet is going to have us yarn over twice okay and we're going to skip these first three post stitches and we're going to do front post triple crochets into the next three stitches and this is kind of where our cable is going to begin so you're working those front post triple crochets like so yarn over twice and then work that front post triple crochet just like this okay and then we're gonna work backwards because remember we skipped these three so we're gonna work backwards but we're gonna work behind these stitches so we're going to yarn over twice reach back behind and we're gonna grab that first stitch okay and we're gonna pull it up and just work our triple our front post triple crochet and you're gonna do that in those three stitches so yarn over twice reach in draw up that post work that front post triple yarn over twice get the last one like that working okay and so if I kind of pull up the work you can kind of see there's kind of like this crisscross thing going on it looks kind of weird right now and it will in the beginning but once you get a few rows into this you'll really be able to see like the stitches will be really more defined and then just double crochet in that last stitch um, of your previous rows chain two like so and then we're going to turn now I want to warn you a little bit right when you get ready to do the twist um, and you're getting ready to work your uh, back post double crochets you want to make sure that you're grabbing the right stitches so the ones that were over here are now pulled here and that's these stitches so you want to make sure that you grab those first and here's what I mean we're um, we're gonna chain two and then we're gonna work those back post double crochets just like so again we're wanting them to pop and give that definition to the stitch just working those back post double crochets okay there's my last one like that and now we're going to if you can see those right there we're gonna back post double crochet those as well just be patient with yourself and you'll feel like you're fumbling all over the place but just don't get frustrated you will get it and I'm so sorry for being so delayed in these videos I just I sincerely apologize okay and then you just do you just your normal double crochets into those spaces just like so double crochet to that last spot and then we will turn 
if you look, you can see our cable is, is really starting to define itself, right? Okay, so now we're gonna chain two. Again, just working those double crochets. This is a really simple pattern once you get it down. It's so easy to memorize and there's lots of fun you can have with it as far as color, um, different ways you could work up the yarns and stuff. I mean, you can have a lot of fun with this. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just going to front post double crochet just straight across, help those stitches pop a little bit more so there's no crisscrossing or anything like that. We're just working just your normal front post double crochets, just like so. Really simple, helping to define those stitch lines. Just always making sure you're grabbing the right ones because trust me, you can tell once you work up a few rows if you've grabbed the wrong one. And then just a double crochet in that last chain two space. And so at this point, you can really begin to see that twist just really forming right there. Um, it looks great. So we'll go ahead and turn two and then just work our back post, oops, double crochets. Um, as normal, just helping to give those stitches more definition. Really, once you understand the basics of these cables, you're really off to the races. Um, it's just kind of like a pattern and you're able to kind of understand the mechanics of crochet cables once you work up a couple of patterns and that's what I love about these is that you can have a lot of fun and um, just get really creative with your stuff just understanding what causes the cable to turn one way or another I just really love that about this particular um, stitch or style I guess um, so yeah all right Another row completed, and again, that cable is really looking nice. Okay, so chain two, and we're getting ready to take that cable and twist it a different way. So let's do our um, six double crochet. Again, remember that chain two always counts as your first double crochet. Okay, so that's five, one more. All right, so now we're back to the front post tri triple crochets. So we're gonna skip these first three and we're gonna do a front post triple crochet into the next three. Remember those front post triple crochets are um, two yarn overs in the beginning and not just one. Okay, so this where we get a little crazy. So instead of working behind like we did before, we're going to work in the front. Okay, so that's gonna cause these stitches to come over the top and these to be pulled back behind. So we're gonna yarn over and we're gonna go grab our very first post stitch and we're just gonna work those front post triple crochets. Make sure you're grabbing the correct posts so everything looks uniform and even grab it again just like that all right we've got all three of them brought over and then we are going to double crochet into the top of our chain two and then we're gonna turn, we're gonna chain two more, and we're gonna work again. So let me try to 
So these are coming over. So these are the ones we need to do first, okay? These are coming this way. So just make sure you grab the right ones. So we're working those back post double crochets into those stitches we just cabled on the previous row. Just work those back post double crochets like so. Just make sure you're grabbing the right ones. Okay, now we're gonna grab this one. Oh, not two, sorry, this one. Back post double crochet. <laughs> okay, working all those stitches and this is how we're popping that cable out, bringing it to the front, and making it look really good, really nice, really clean. And then just continue on with your normal um, double crochets. I have a tendency to raise the work. I don't know why I do that. Even if I'm not filming, I do that. And like all of a sudden, it's totally up by my face. My kids are like, what are you doing? And I always think, I don't know. <laughs> it's not that I can't see it. It's like I just bring it closer and closer to my face. It's kind of funny. Does anybody else do that? Probably not. Okay, so we're going to add our double crochet into that top of that chain two. We're going to turn and look at that. Oh, it's looking so nice and gorgeous. I just love it, love it, love it. Okay, chain two. Work those double crochets. Just like that. All right. Okay, so now we're at that point where we're just gonna front post double crochet all the way across. So just, again, make sure you're grabbing the right stitches or the posts rather and just front post double crochet all the way across. And there I go, raising my hands again. Okay, end with our Double crochet, like so. And let's just look at it for a second. Oh, see? You see those twists? Looks so awesome. Okay, turn our work. Chain two, and again, just work those back posts, double crochets, just like we have been. I really love cables. I just, I just love them. I love the way that they look. I like that they look difficult. And it's like once you see a tutorial and you figure it out, you're like, oh, well that's not that hard. And it's not, it's really not. But once you get the hang of it, it's really not hard. Okay, and then, I have a tendency to pull my, <laughs> Chain two's initial chain two is a little tight. All right. Okay. And there you have it. And basically, like when you're doing the blanket, you would end with a single crochet all the way across um, to finish off that final row. But yeah, let's see if you can kind of see it. Definitely, definitely, definitely block crochet cable pieces. They look so much better after you block them. But yeah, so this is how the stitch pattern is worked up for the basic crochet cable blanket. And I, like I said, I will link that video. I mean, not that this is the video, duh. I will link that pattern from the blog down below in the uh, description box. And if you would like, uh, hit that button down below, subscribe and uh, be a part of the Yarn Hook Needles community. 
and we would love to see the things that you're working on and all of that and I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and um, make a comment down below if you have any questions or maybe even some other color combo ideas or you can comment with another project that you would like to see me create using crochet cables but yeah thanks for stopping okay. um, thanks for being a reader and a watcher of the yarn hook needles blog and YouTube channel I hope to see you in the next video.